Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. For today's video, we are doing another come thrift with me. Well, actually, I decided to do something different. I'm going to show you guys what you can get at a thrift store for only $40. Another exciting part of this video is I'm not alone. Once again, I have friends, guys. I actually have friends. And I'm joined with the beautiful, the thrift queen, Alexa Sunshine 83. Hey, hi. Hello. <laughs> so honestly, I do all thrifting videos. I really talk about like secondhand fashion, ethical fashion, and honestly, like I found Jessica originally from her thrifting Woo! videos, and I was like, oh my god, this girl is literally amazing. And now I've met her, and she is literally amazing. Like, oh my gosh, I am so excited for this. We're going into Goodwill. We're gonna have a good old time. It's gonna be a great yeah. time. I have never been to this Goodwill before, and I'm looking around. It's pretty big. Are you looking for anything? Um. I actually am. I really want to find like flannels Ooh. so bad. I went through like a flannel phase and then I just like got rid of them and now I'm like, what did I do with that? So, I did that too. Yeah, so that's like my main goal. Okay, flannels. Fingers crossed. Flannels and probably sweaters. Ooh, yes. I am, I'll definitely be looking for sweaters. I have found um, a pretty decent amount of stuff so far. Like this Goodwill has like some pretty cute things. They don't have shopping carts here, so I'm just using this basket, and um, it's it's literally overflowing. It's like a a pretty a pretty good amount. I haven't been vlogging too much since we've been in here, just because Alexa and I have really been having a nice time chatting. You guys take a look at this sweater. It. <laughs> this looks like something my grandma used to make me wear in kindergarten. My grandma used to dress me every day till second grade. Really? Yeah. Oh, poor <laughs> Yeah. Most of the, like, a lot of the stuff was cute, but some of it was just like really, like this. I think it's cute, but yes, I agree. Like, it just, like, I'm not, like, like, it just, <laughs> it's too, yeah, no, no. It's fun though, but, yeah. That's the thing. Like, yeah. There's so many cute stuff, but then, like, no, but I want to use it. But is it practical? Exactly. So we're at to try on stuff because our baskets are both getting way too full. <laughs> Round two, going to the men's section. I love looking through the men's t-shirts because there's always like such funny things on t-shirts or just like odd things. Oftentimes it's a lot of like sports stuff, but sometimes you find some good stuff. What does this say? World's greatest grandpa of all time. It's for a pretty great grandpa. So here I am just flipping through the shirts and I pulled out this shirt because I thought it was really cool and I was like, ooh, tie-dye shirt. And I pulled it out and um, it's this. Let's get Alexa's reaction. I would, I don't think I'd ever wear this on a shirt. This looks so just freaky. Alexa is literally the nicest person. She's vlogging about me right now and I'm just like, so nice. Okay, I love Alexa. You have to go check out her channel. If you like my stuff, you will really like her stuff. She's, she's so nice. And also guys, in case you didn't know, old guys rule. A thrift queen, honestly, her videos are iconic. They're so good. Go check out her stuff. Please go check out her stuff. Thanks. But. I want to know what is your like number one thrift tip okay so i definitely have a couple but i think my biggest one is to go into every single section i think a lot of people that don't really know too much about thrifting and they go to a thrift store and they only go in the brawl section and they're like well, how do i find anything like how do people find all like these amazing especially graphic tees like oh yeah if you love graphic tees i'm telling you go into the guy section i think we are programmed sometimes that i'm a woman i can only go into the women's section and when it comes to thrifting everything's game even the kids section i've gone into the yes little boy section like there's no sizes there's no colors there's no gender like you just go through everything it's oh, like yeah, line, but it's definitely worth it yes all right 
gonna squat down here. <laughs> um, successful thrif thrifting session. Very, honestly, so successful. I am so beyond excited for what I got. I'm excited, like, I'm excited to watch your video just to see what you got. If you wanna see all the things Alexa picks up, picked up, go check out her video, I'll link it below. Off to the next thrift store. Yes! Back in the car, I'm gonna use some hand sanitizer because you never know, gotta stay sanitized. But we are heading to a second thrift store. We're going to this place called Second Chance Thrift thrift shop thrift store and it's an upland and i don't think i mentioned this we are in rancho cucamonga slash the upland area which is where i grew up cold water had the first third and fourth lanes blocked um, i don't listen to am radio don't worry guys i i just hit it with my tripod better than what more than a feeling Alexa just got here. I just hopped off the phone. She's vlogging out there, so I don't want to interrupt her, but let's, let's go take a look. How cool is this? They have bins of fabric. I love when thrift stores have bins of fabric because I sell stuff on Poshmark because I like to take fabric and wrap it around the clothes just to make it look like a little bit nicer and have some nice presentation. So I'm going to pick up some fabric. And the really cool thing is they have a bunch of vintage patterns. So for all of you guys who like to make clothes out here in Southern California and you like vintage styles, uh, this is the place to go because they have some good stuff. I love this shirt. <laughs> I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to read. Ooh. I don't know how much this is because it's cute, but I don't, I just need to know how much. I thought it was maybe like a windbreaker, but... It's not? What is it? Is it like a sweater? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a jacket. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Mm. It's like a fur. I feel like if it was a windbreaker, I'd be really into it, but it's like not. Oh, that... It's like so... Fits really oddly. Because it's like a weird... I don't know. Just... Uh, just yeah. a no. <laughs> I'm gonna like try to take it off. Okay, this coat is really, really pretty. I'm gonna give this one a try. It, Looks big though. Way, way, way too big. Just too big. Goodbye, beautiful Italian jacket. I'll miss you. We were about to pay, but I just saw this huge painting of this luxurious, beautiful cat. And I feel like I kind of need it in my life. We are done thrifting for the day. We went to two different thrift stores and we've been thrifting since noon and now it's four so four hours of thrifting um and now we're just we're gonna wrap up the day we're gonna end on starbucks because both of us are just like we need a little extra boost honestly it was such a fun time i really really loved hanging out with alexa it was so much fun she's so nice people just like we really get along well and honestly there were no points in our conversation where it was awkward or where it was like we didn't know what to say. It's always cool to find people who are just like really cool and you get along with. Alrighty, so I ended up picking up some really good stuff for less than $40. I mean, it was like $39.90, but I hit my mark. So let's see what I picked up for only $40 at the thrift store. I'm back home now. It's actually been maybe about two weeks since I filmed this video, but a lot has happened since then. I moved a lot of things. You know, things just happened. So I'm finally getting to this video. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I got. And a quick note I wanna make is the first Goodwill that we went to where I got a majority of these clothes was pretty pricey, so I didn't get as much as I, I feel like I usually would have gotten, but there is still a pretty good amount of stuff in here. For $40, I think my money stretched pretty well. The first couple things I got are some mugs because I really feel like I can't go to a thrift store without picking up at least one mug because they have the coolest and the most fun mugs. So I picked up these gray speckled mugs with this blue city print and these, I feel like I've seen them places and they're always super duper expensive and each of those mugs pretty standard for a thrift store were 99 cents earlier in the video I show you guys how I find that nice section of uh, fabrics so I ended up picking up five fabric squares and each of them were 99 cents so five bucks so we have this red and orange polka dot one this beautiful yellow floral pattern one this orange fabric square with a geometric pattern going on a yellowy beige with another geometric pattern in the last fabric square I picked up is this white one that has kind of a 
light gray squiggly print. So, so far we're up to $7 on our total. And now we're gonna move on to clothes. For clothes, I feel like I picked up some pretty good stuff. I really like the pieces I picked up and some of them are even like festive. So that's perfect for this time of year. The first piece of clothing I picked up were these black and white gingham pants. So these were $4.99 and I found them at the second thrift store we went to. And I know gingham is kind of more of a summer print, but I like gingham. I think it's very pretty. Next up, I picked up another pair of bottoms and these ones are a gorgeous pair of denim jeans that I really quite love because they are top-notch. They really do look like the vintage denim jean that everybody so desires to find at the thrift store, but you rarely ever do. I found a pair. They're not Levi's. Instead, they are these high-waisted denim jeans from the brand Bongo, which is a brand that I feel like has been around since I was a little girl. I remember my mom used to buy me clothes from Bongo when I was like seven. So I don't know, they came in clutch with some nice denim jeans. I was super jazzed to find these on the rack. And then when I tried them on, I was like, okay. I, I like these. And the price of these jeans was $7.99. Moving on to tops, our next piece is another kind of summery type of piece, which usually, you know, in December it would not be a good thing to buy, but here in Los Angeles, it's like 75 and sunny today. I picked up this sleeveless striped button up. I feel like a 90s mom at a barbecue. And I think, I think I kind of like that vibe. I like the look. I like the overall look. I thought it was very cute. I love the colors on this. I think they're so pretty. And I just love button ups because they just highlight your silhouette so nicely. I think button ups always just look good, so. Any button up is a friend of mine. The next thing is so gosh darn cute. I don't know why anybody ever gave it to Goodwill because like, it is this red and white striped Ralph Lauren pajama dress. I think it's so beautiful and Christmassy and I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this Christmas morning. Catch me under my tree wearing this opening presents. Looking cute. This is just like a nice thing to wear on a winter night. And the price of this was $7.99. And the last thing I picked up from the thrift store was another kind of wintry sweater. It is this beautiful blue and white knit sweater and it is so, so gorgeous. I love how the sweater fits. It is the perfect like slight bit of oversized. So it's kind of just baggy, but it's not actually oversized. So if you kind of just want to wear something more cozy or if you just want to lightly layer underneath, this is like the perfect sweater for that. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's thrifting video. I had so much fun hanging out with Alexa. And if you guys want to check out her channel or her video, I will link both below. And you should also let me know what your favorite piece was in the comment section. I think mine might have been the blue and white knit sweater. If you guys want to see Vlogmas content, my husband and I are doing Vlogmas over on our couple channel that I will also link below. Um, we're a couple days behind because of the move, but I'm like massive uploading and like double and triple uploading every day to catch up so um but vlogs vlogs are going up they're being recorded they're going up things are great so yeah girl right now it is so hot in my room i just i just need to open a window or something because my butt is sweating and it's starting to stick to the seat and i just i don't love that it's not one of my favorite things to happen. Quote of the day, let's see what today's quote is. All of my quotes come from Pinterest, which is where I get a majority of my inspiration for style, lifestyle, home, etc. And if you guys wanna follow me on Pinterest, just Jessica Neistat. Gosh, this puppy is so cute. Look how cute this puppy is. My goodness, I love Pinterest. Today's quote is a quote I really love. I found it the other day and I just really resonated with it. So today's quote is, I was born to do something no one's ever done before. And I just really love that because I feel like it really just highlights that every person on this earth has a place, has a purpose. You can do something or teach something or share something that nobody else can. And I think it's just really cool because it really highlights that everybody is special and just like everybody has something to contribute. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye.